يا ايها النبي انا ارسلناك شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا وداعيا الى الله باذنه وسراجا منيرا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم i begin in the name of allah the most merciful the especially merciful what is the reward and what is the virtue of fasting in the month of ramadan firstly what is the point of fasting in Ramadan? And we explained this in a previous video where we said that fasting in Ramadan helps you attain taqwa, which is God consciousness. And this God consciousness, it grants you nearness to Allah, where you know that at all times and everywhere I may be, Allah is always watching me. No matter if I am alone or in public, in the night or in the day, far away from home or right inside my house, Allah knows everything that I am doing. And in addition to this God consciousness that I attain, Ramadan is an opportunity for me to have my previous sins forgiven. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam, peace be upon him, he says, whoever fasts Ramadan, whoever fasts this month, out of two things, he gives two conditions, out of sincere faith, sincerely believing in Allah, and out of hoping and yearning for reward from Allah, all of their previous sins would be forgiven. And the correct understanding here is that your previous minor sins are forgiven, and as for your major sins, only sincere repentance can forgive those major sins. But as we can see here, the beautiful fruits of Ramadan, imagine I come into Ramadan, a person who lived a long life full of sin, full of mistakes, as we all do. But I dedicate myself for these 30 days. I abstain from food and drink and intercourse throughout the day. Anywhere I may be, even if I am alone, I am God conscious and I do not eat. And at the end, Allah forgives all of my sins. And in addition to this, during the night of Ramadan, there is something I can do to attain this beautiful virtue as well. And it is doing what is called Qiyam, which is standing in prayer at night during Ramadan. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam, peace be upon him, he says, just like in Ramadan, just like in fasting in Ramadan, whoever prays in the night of Ramadan, every single night they pray out of sincere faith and out of hoping and yearning for reward from Allah, all of their previous sins would be forgiven. And once again, this is the minor sins. And as for the major sins, only sincere repentance will forgive it. And one more thing I want to mention. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he mentioned something so profound about Ramadan. He says, when Ramadan enters, the gates of paradise are opened and the gates of hellfire are shut and the devils are chained. I ask Allah to grant us understanding and to guide us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya ayyuha nabiyu inna arsalnaka shahidan wa mubashiran wa nadheeran wa da'iyan ila Allahi bi-idhnihi wa sirajan munira.